Recently, I was asked a very interesting question as to whether it would be possible to add a new or an additional environment, additional system into uh, the provisioning environment list for provisioning purposes, right? So as you know, SAP has four default options under provisioning environment when you try to you know, submit an access request. One is all, then you have development, you have production, and then you have testing. So for me, the ask was if to see if I can add or we can add sandbox into this provisioning environment list so that the users could be provisioned only to sandbox system if required, right? So I checked, you know, my search on Google, whether if I could find anything to see how this could be done, um, but I could not uh, find anything. So I did some debugging and uh, research on, you know, uh, on my own and figured out that, you know, this, the environment list that you have is also in SPRO configuration. So if you go to in the maintain connector setting, you designate uh, the systems to the environment, right? To, to you assign what uh, kind of environment your particular connector is, right? So you have that list here. So what I did, I came here and then from here going to, to through the technical help, I figured out that you know this list is actually coming from a domain, not a table, okay, a domain. So the first thing that I had to do was to go and update that those domains. So the domain name that is related to that configuration is GRAC sys type. So if you go to display, so th those are fixed values that you see there, right? So you normally, if you go and look into your systems in this domain, you will have dev, PRD, and TST. Okay? So this is what you see in the maintain connector settings uh, configuration. So the first thing that I had to do was to update this list. Okay? Now, because, you know, we are security consultants, security people, GRC, uh, we consultants, we, we don't have a developer key to update. We will not have a developer key to update this list. So you would need to take a help of a ABAP developer. That's number one. Number two, because this is a standard object, SAP stand delivered object, you would also need to register this object in the support portal and uh, generate a key for it, object key for this object. Okay, so you would need the help of someone who has that authorization on support uh, portal uh, to generate the object key. Okay, so you, one, you need a developer, a web developer who can help you to uh, add the required system into your, uh, in this list. And uh, then you also need somebody who can help with generating the object key for this object. Okay, so this is one domain. Uh, there is also another domain where, you know, where I ended up adding the, the value uh, for the system. Uh, Maybe this is not required. You can, you, if you try it all, you know, you can check that out. I don't think this is required, but because it, this one, this domain also had the same list, you know, dev, PRD, and TST, I ended up adding um, uh, the sandbox uh, environment into this domain also. Again, because this is also a standard object, you would need an uh, object key for this one also. But I would suggest that, you know, you don't register this object. Uh, if it still does not, does not work after following the next steps, then maybe you could try to do that. Okay, register this object and add sandbox or whatever system you want into this domain list also. Now, after those 
that list is added, the Santa system is added to these two domains. You have to activate the domain, okay? The ABAP developer would do that for you. Now, after that, what you could do is, if you have a sandbox system, you know, in your uh, configuration, right? If you go to Spro, okay. Now, before you do that also, there are a couple of things. Uh, before this ID could be, you know, um, uh, that uh, system could be assigned to, you know, connector uh, in the setting. Before you could assign it here, make them to make this work. There are a couple of steps the ABAP developer would also need to do. So what he needs to do is, he would need to go and activate this, this, this screen, right? So the program and the screen, which is associated with this configuration. So what you could do is you go and figure out the ABAP developer needs to go and look at this program. This is the program screen. Okay. So they can, can go to double click on that program, go there, or they can go to SEAT also if you want to, if they, if they want to. But I'm going to go from here and I'm going to go to display object list. So it will take me to the, the SEAT screen where you have the function group associated with that particular screen, the configuration screen. Now here, the configuration screen is for uh, S0011. So this screen has to be activated, okay? And along with this, you also, he also has to activate the screen painter layout screen of that configuration, okay? So this is your configuration screen layout. So the ABAP developer would have to activate this one also, okay? Only after you do this, you would be able to assign sandbox as a environment to a connector to your sandbox system. Okay, in our case, we are going to use FE1 CLNT001 as our sandbox environment. If you don't do the screen activations, right, you'll get an error message saying select a valid entry. Okay, so you got to do that. So let's go and see what, how you do this. So you go to system status and then double click on the program, go to utilities, and this is an ABAP developer's job, so they know how to do that. I'm just repeating what should be, what needs to be done here. So if, for this function group, screen 11, 0011. This has to be activated, plus the layout for the screen also has to be activated. Okay, after you do that, this one will work, okay? It will, you know, you can assign the sandbox to the whatever connector you need to designate it as a sandbox system. Now, you also have, this is your, as a GRC person, you would need to do this. And there is one more setting that, you know, either you can do it or an, uh, the developer can do it for you, is that you go to SM30 and in this view, GRC V environment, you, add the sandbox system, okay? This is the entry that is going to get you the system into this list, okay? Now the Spro configuration is to indicate that when you select sandbox here, where the user ID has to be provisioned in which system, okay? But to get sandbox into this list or any whatever systems you want into this provisioning list, the key table is 
this. Okay, this view, GRSAV underscore environment. Now, once that is done, okay, now we can validate. So this this is all this is all what we need to do uh, to you know provision the user IDs to an additional environment. So I'm going to submit a request uh, for a user, and let's say I'm going to say test user. SBX3. Okay. And let's give a So I'm going to select, uh, I've select, already selected a role. I'm going to select the environment as a sandbox, okay? And then I'm just going to put a comment here. Now, some of these things, you know, it depends on how your system is configured. And this particular system that I'm showing, uh, workflows and all are not configured in this. So, so this is not a mandatory uh, mandatory thing uh, in reality of adding a comment. Okay, if you want to, you can, but it doesn't force you. In my case in here, it's forcing me to add a comment. Okay, I'm going to do this. And like I said, there is no... Um, Nothing is configured here, so I'm going to enter the user details. Okay. And I'm going to say, okay, now before I do this and submit the request, let us go to our SBX system and see whether that user that we want to create exists or not. Okay, so I've got SU01 and let's see XBX3. So it doesn't, that's the user ID, does not exist. Okay, now let us go and submit this request and uh, then we'll go back to the system and check if the user ID is created or not. Keep in mind, you know, uh, request submitted successfully. There are no workflows uh, configured here. So the, once you sub, once I submit this request, the user ID is immediately created. So let's go and check whether uh, the ID is created or not. You see the user ID is now created and the role that we picked is also assigned. Okay, so the, Summary of this is to add an additional system into GRC provisioning environment, you first have to, you know, uh, add the system entries, or the additional system entry into this domain, okay, and then activate. Uh, the program associated with this connector configuration, right? So if you go to, so the program associated with uh, the maintain connector,
Okay, let's try that. Like something is wrong with this system. So, so maintain connector settings. So after you add it, it, the value to the domain, you come here and then have the above developer activate the screen and this program function group associated with the screen. Okay. And then you also have to add to get the list, the system environment into that list in provisioning environment. You also have to add that system and less uh, environment into this view also. Okay, so once these are done, um, your uh, idea, your new system is added to for provisioning purposes. Again, keep in mind to update the domain, you need an object key and help of a web developer to uh, add that entry into the list.